Monetize your creative passion, be successful, learn new skills. These are the promises if you can learn how to become a creative entrepreneur and earn money while you sleep. Now, I am not entirely sure that all these are true. However, I have found that creating systems and offering value to my fellow creators has made me much more productive, happy, and has generally created a much more healthy relationship when trying to tackle the issue of making money while being a creative. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be giving you some ideas on how you can monetize your creative skills on the internet. Step one is to discover your strengths and weaknesses. Step two is to pick a niche and commit. Step three is the network. Well, let's get into it. Step one is to pick a software and master it. But we need to figure out first your strengths and weaknesses. A good place to start is to make a list of the daily creative tasks you find easy to complete and a list of negative traits that you wish you could overcome. For me, I find that I'm okay at a little bit of everything, which makes me a generalist when it comes to 3D. My strengths sit within film, so I naturally gravitated to the Unreal 5 engine when creating short films. So sit down, have a think of what you're good at, and figure out how you can export those skills with software. As I use Unreal 5, this video will mainly be focused towards that, but it can also be applied to places like Blender, film, and animation. So don't feel left out. Okay, so by now you should have figured out your strengths and weaknesses. Are you really good at animation, lighting, storytelling? Are you really bad at project management, etc.? So now we want to find a niche and commit to it. This generally gets overcomplicated, so the quick answer is just to merge your strengths with what you find interesting. I like design, science, and architecture, so my skills with 3D landed me jobs in ArcViz and creating animated educational videos. But if you are struggling to find something, I am going to share with you some ideas for the general niches that people can commit to. Niche number one, game development. A very popular method is to document the entire process and share your journey with a devlog series. That way game developers who are learning the craft will watch your content while at the same time you'll be reaching your new audience. As gamers generally enjoy learning how games are made. If I had a great idea for a video game, this is perhaps where I would start. Point two, architecture and real estate. Unreal 5 is also commonly used in the architecture and real estate industries to create realistic 3D models of buildings and spaces. You can leverage this by offering your services to architects and real estate developers to create visual tours of their projects. This is how I started my 3D journey as I would create 3D visualizations of school playgrounds. Yes, school playgrounds, as this kind of falls in the landscape and architecture visualization. So in case you want to explore that a little further. Three, film and TV. Unreal 5 is increasingly being used in the film and TV industries to create realistic visual effects and visual environments. You can use your Unreal 5 skills to create visual effects for movies and TV shows or simply create your own short films and monetize them through various channels. The Volume, a series of LED screens that render in real time has been a huge success thanks to shows like The Mandalorian, so there are definitely job opportunities available within this spectrum. This channel is currently focusing on making short films within the Unreal 5 engine, so if you would like to learn some new skills, check out my other videos. Point number four, education and training. Finally, Unreal 5 is a great tool for creating educational and training content, especially for industries like healthcare and engineering. You could create interactive simulations and training materials and then sell them to universities, companies, and training providers. Point five, creative ways to make money. As a little bonus, I have brainstormed creative ways you could make money now as an Unreal 5 artist based on what we've already covered. So for example, you could create visual tours for real estate, or you could create interactive visual tours of real estate properties, allowing potential buyers to explore the space before making an in-person visit. You can then monetize this service by offering it to real estate agents, developers, or even homeowners who are trying to sell their properties. Building customizable VR experiences could be another way. By creating immersive experiences for clients, this could range from custom VR environments for events, to designing educational or training modules for businesses. You could then go on to sell these experiences for a fee or even offer them as a subscription-based service. Designing interactive art installations would be another great method as the Unreal 5's advanced physics engine and visual scripting system make it a great tool for designing interactive art installations. You can create installations for galleries, museums, or even public spaces, and monetize your work by selling tickets to the installations or by partnering with brands to create branded installations themselves. 
A good friend of mine is using the Unreal 5 engine to generate visuals for music videos, so it's a very achievable goal. Food for thought. Creating customized video game assets is a very popular way of making money with the Unreal 5 engine, simply due to Unreal being a very popular tool for game developers. You could make money by creating custom assets for games and then selling them on the Unreal Marketplace. This can include anything from character models and animations to sound effects and music. Or you can even create your own game like mentioned before and sell it through a platform like Steam. Part 3. Getting started with Unreal 5 Now that you know how to make money with Unreal 5, let's discuss how you get started. The first step is to learn how to use the Unreal 5 engine itself and there are many online resources available including tutorials, forums and documentation. You can start by downloading Unreal 5 for free from the Epic Games Store website and then work your way through the tutorials to learn the basics. Once you get comfortable with the software and have created some projects, it's now time to build a portfolio. Once you've learned how to use Unreal 5, start building a portfolio of projects to showcase your skills. This will help you attract clients and demonstrate your expertise in using the Unreal 5 engine. ArtStation is a great place to start as many professionals use it daily. Once you get comfortable, consider applying for some of the job profiles that float about on the website. Finally, promote your services on social media and the online marketplace. You can also reach out to other professionals directly and pitch your services. Just remember to be polite. So I hope you find this overview of how to make money with the Unreal 5 engine helpful. Unreal 5 is a powerful tool for artists and creatives and there are many opportunities to monetize your skills using this platform. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you'd like to start learning the Unreal 5 engine, watch this video next.